I waved goodbye to my friends as I stepped out of the bus and headed into my house. I was super excited to get home and see my parents. They hadn't talked much at all yesterday. As a matter of fact, they just stayed in their bedroom all day. They haven't been feeling well. I ran up the stairs on the front porch and swung the door open with a big cheesy grin on my face. However, when I opened the door, there was no one in the den. The television was off and the house seemed abnormally quiet. I took a step and started calling out. Mom, Dad, I called. I knew they were supposed to be here. Dad had the day off and Mom didn't have any plans with her girlfriends until next week. Right? I placed my backpack on the ground and on the couch. I walked into the kitchen and checked the calendar. October 5th. I was right. Dad took this day off. So him, Mom, did they go to see a movie together? They've got to be here somewhere, I thought to myself. Then it hit me. School let out early today because of a busted water pipe. I looked at the watch on my wrist. It's only 12 o'clock. They're still probably sleeping. I headed back through the den, slowly opened their bedroom door. Surely enough, there they lie. <sighs> a sigh of relief escaped my mouth as my grin returned. I tiptoed over to my mom's side of the bed and pulled the covers back. I was greeted with the same sight as the day before. She lay there, motionless, eyes glazed over, mouth agape. Her skin was pale white and her hair was beginning to thin. The soup I gave her yesterday sat on the table beside her. It was stale and she hadn't even touched it. I'm beginning to think they don't want to feel better. I placed the cover back over her head, grabbed the old soup, and left the room slowly, closing the door behind me. I decided not to wake them, considering they must need their sleep. I'm sure they'll be up for it tomorrow. Until then, I have a ton of psychology homework to be done. We're doing this whole paper on a type of disorder where people live in denial of the most obvious things. <laughs> Imagine a life like that.